Most people underestimate the role that randomness plays in our lives. In a moment, we will discuss random ranking factor, which affects millions of entrepreneurs. But first, let's talk about randomness more broadly. Let's imagine we accept a new job. And in scenario, scenario A, we have a boss that we absolutely love. This boss is amazing. This boss makes the workday go by quick. This boss helps advance us professionally, etc. And then in scenario B, we have a boss who we absolutely can't stand. This boss is actively trying to hold us back. This boss is creating a negative environment, etc. And then we also can have any number of other scenarios in between. Let's think about boss C who is middle of the road. They're okay to work for. We don't really dislike them, but we don't really like them either, etc. So with that in mind, that just how, just your job, just the boss who you work for, and you having no control over that, this having nothing to do with you, it's just random. You have a boss who you either really like, you dislike, somewhere in between, etc. Now let's think about websites. Some websites rank better than others. And this is outside of SEO. This has nothing to do with SEO. This is just the fact that some websites rank better by themselves and it's completely random. And this is called random ranking factor. And this is where some websites rank better than others for no reasons. So to illustrate this point, let's imagine we have five websites. Three rank okay, one ranks exceptionally well, and one ranks poor. Can you imagine if you are a website owner and you have this website that ranks poor and you have another, you, let's say you have a colleague who their website ranks really well, you might think there is something you're doing or something you're missing when you're not at all. And this one person has a huge advantage on you and you don't understand why. Their, their business starts picking up faster, they start getting reviews, they start getting the compounding effects of ranking better, and then pretty soon they're cemented at number one, and it looks like they've run away with everything, and then they're, <laughs> they're maybe even giving seminars and teaching other people how to be successful, and you're wondering what it was that made the difference, and it could have been completely random. Randomness plays an extremely large role in our lives. So the way you get around, let's say you have a, a website that ranks average or a website that ranks poorly. You have to have varied attempts. So let's imagine your first attempt, your first website, it doesn't rank well and you don't wanna just stick there. You, maybe you keep that as your website because you have built around that brand and that domain name, but then you try another website and maybe this is a content website, maybe this is a blog website, or maybe you have an alternative website. And then if that one doesn't rank that well, maybe you try a third website. And the point is not to keep making websites, but to have in mind that with random ranking factor, you really can do nothing wrong and yet it appears as if you are falling behind. Some websites just rank better than others. I've experienced this myself. But of course, this can be so deterministic because many people just on their first website, if it doesn't do well and, and it, it doesn't, they might not even be aware of random ranking factor, but if it's not ranking well, then they're not getting the free organic traffic. And then so their customer acquisition costs are much, much higher. So let's say they have to, they have to use pay-per-click advertising. And so their customer acquisition cost is $10 while a competitor's customer acquisition cost is free, and this is all completely random. So this can really affect people unknowingly, but it is part of the reason why you have these varied attempts, because you want to give yourself exposure to luck. So luck being getting the winning card in the draw, because this is random, this has happened. This is something that SEO experts talk about. It does happen. So. Keep this in mind if you're an entrepreneur, if you've built a website, some websites simply rank better than others. And this isn't to say to start over and over again if your website doesn't initially rank well. Most websites may not rank that well anyways and you just have to give them attention. But if your website just is stuck and you've tried everything else, it may be simply because of, of random ranking factor and so you just have to try again.